Okay, 2005 days. A smooth sphere of P, uh, a smooth sphere of P collides with identical smooth sphere of Q. Identical masses are the same. Uh, which is at rest, not moving at the start. Philosophy of P before impact makes an angle A with the line of centers of impact where zero is less than A, less than 90. The philosophy of P is deflected through an angle, uh, wherever this sign is, okay, by the collision. So that is philosophy of the impact makes the angle of that sign plus alpha with the line of centers of impact. Find the coefficient of restitution between the spheres is 1 over 4. I'm going to call this beta because it's easier to draw and then I'll fix it up at the end. Okay? So it's going to be tan beta and not tan, I think it's a gamma or something. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to resolve the before and after picture before we begin. Before and after. And we're going to call it particle P and particle Q. Okay, so particle P, and we'll just go down a bit as well to get a picture of this. Okay, so Q is not moving, and P is coming in. Like so. Now, particle P is going in at alpha. And its velocity is u, so it's going to be u cos alpha going across and u sine alpha going up. So after the collision, it's going to be u sine alpha because that's unaffected, and then we're going to call that v1. After collision for q, it's going to be 0 and v2. Before collision for p, it's going to be u cos alpha and u sine alpha, and the other one has nothing, no speed at the start. Okay, now that you've figured out your your speeds, what we're going to do next is we're going to put them into the formulas. Okay, so we're going to go for Newton's experimental law, or sorry, conservation of the sorry, principle of conservation of momentum. So we're going to have m u cos alpha m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals m2 sorry m1 v1 plus m2 v2 so it's going to be m u cos alpha plus m times zero equals uh, m times v1 plus m v2 we're going to get v1 plus v2 equals u cos alpha. Okay, Newton's experimental law. On the y-axis, v1 minus v2 equals minus e into u1 minus u2. And then what we're going to get here is v1 minus v2. We know that e is a quarter, so minus a quarter so e being a quarter is located up here. So it's going to be minus a quarter into u1 minus u2, u cos alpha minus zero. And we're going to get is v1 minus v2 is minus u cos alpha over four. Now we're going to add them together and figure out what is v1. Okay, so we're going to get 2v1. Now, u cos alpha minus a quarter u cos alpha is going to be 3 quarters u cos alpha. And therefore, v1 is going to be 3 eighths u cos alpha. Okay. Now, we only need v1 in this question. Okay, because it's only talking about the deflection angle of particle. Q. So finding V2 is a waste of time and a waste of effort. Okay? So we have here. So the flossy P is deflected through an angle B by the collision so that its flossy after impact 
makes an angle of alpha plus beta with the with the line of centers after impact. Okay, this is positive, so we know that's moving diagonal diagonally up to the right, and we know that the i we know we know the j component and we now know the i component. So it's three eight u cos alpha. This is going to be alpha plus beta. And then the top part is going to be u sine alpha. Okay, so what we can now find out is that tan alpha plus beta is going to be u sine alpha over 3 8 u cos alpha. The u's will cancel and we'll end up with tan alpha divided by 3 8 which is 8 tan alpha over 3. Okay, so now we know that tan alpha plus beta is 8 tan alpha over 3. Okay, now we have to find this one on its own. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, tan A plus B formula. So we're going to have tan alpha plus tan beta. I'm going to expand this out. Divided by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta. equals 8 tan alpha 8 tan alpha over 3 cross multiply 3 tan alpha plus 3 tan beta it's going to be equal to 8 tan alpha 8 tan alpha minus 8 tan squared alpha tan beta factorize out 8 tan alpha I think oh no bring tan we want to get beta on its own so bring tan betas onto the one side so what we do here is we're going to get a 3 tan beta plus 8 tan squared alpha tan beta and that's equal to 8 tan alpha minus 3 tan alpha and that will get me 5 tan alpha and 5 tan alpha equals tan beta into 3 plus 8 tan squared alpha cross multiply down tan beta equals 5 tan alpha all divided by 3 plus 8 tan squared alpha and that's you done there.